There's a plot twist in Lim Guan Eng's undersea tunnel case. Let's recap. Guan Eng was charged with receiving a bribe of 2 million ringgit in an undersea tunnel project in Penang. However, it was not Guan Eng who received the bribe, the money was actually intended to be given to former Prime Minister Najib Razak. Aye. All the crucial evidence can allegedly be found in the WhatsApp conversations between two key witnesses, Ji Ganaraja and Datuk Zarul Ahmad. The WhatsApp conversations have already been presented in a separate case in the Shah Alam court. Lim Guanang's lawyer, Gobin Singh Dio has asserted that through the WhatsApp transcripts, the codename Big Boss clearly refers to Najib and not Lim Guanang. So why does Gobin state that Big Boss is Najib Razak and not Guanang? In the WhatsApp messages, Big Boss had a cake cutting ceremony on the 23rd of July. When is Najib's birthday? July 23rd. The cake cutting ceremony was in a house in Damanduta. Who had a house in Damanduta? Najib Razak. To recap, Najib's birthday, July 23rd, Lim Wanang's birthday, December 8th. House in Taman Duta, Najib, yes. Lim Guanang, no. Gobind had requested access to the WhatsApp conversations between them, but the prosecution had repeatedly tried to block it. Finally, Judge Arzurul Alwi ordered the prosecution to hand over all crucial evidence to the defense as the payment receipt and check submitted in the Shah Alam case are the same documents in this case, but there are two different versions regarding who received the 2 million ringgit. With the WhatsApp conversation between Ji Ganaraja and Datuk Zarl, it will be proven that the charges against Lim Guaning are false and fabricated. In the latest update, the prosecution has finally handed over the WhatsApp transcripts report to defense. What will happen next? Stay tuned as proceedings will continue in July. A very interesting plot twist. Uh, so now the case of Guan Eng, accused of receiving or attempting to solicit 2 million ringgit uh, from Zarul uh, for the underground sea tunnel project okay in Penang now uh, what has been revealed is that the term big boss does not refer to Guan Eng refers to Najib now we don't know how this will play out in the court but bear in mind eh, that WhatsApp transcript clearly shows what is truth but look at what the prosecution was trying to do the prosecution was trying to frame to fitnah Lim Guan Eng to cover up Najib and the prosecution is government and it is happening even now under Anwar Ibrahim under the Madani government so now this is very serious because at the end of the day if it's revealed that the, the entire case was politically trumped up uh, just to nail Lim Guan Eng for a crime he did not commit and to cover up a crook like Najib uh, therefore the prosecution has been abused now who is in charge of the prosecution the AG now if it is found that Big Boss is not and Guan Eng is acquitted and therefore it was Big Boss was Najib all along therefore number one the first thing that needs to happen is that there must be a prosecution on Najib and also the people who are giving money, offering money to Najib. Now that includes Zarul as well as whoever else. Now because whatever the prosecution punya protection for Zarul uh, as the prime witness applies only with regards to the prosecution of Guan Eng which is appears to be trumped up and fabricated now if that fails and Guan Eng is acquitted Zarul no longer have any protection against any other case so but whatever it is the evidence has already been revealed and Zarul has already been uh, shown to have offered money or given money to a particular big boss which appears to not be Guan Eng right now appears to be Najib when that prosecution happens because of whatever has been testified Zarul need no longer require protection as prime witness he now becomes suspect as well Zarul should be charged for uh, corruption Najib should be charged for corruption and uh, let the giver 
and the taker suffer the consequences because otherwise we rakyat becomes the sucker now more importantly now the prosecution has been abused by whom who is paying whom who is coercing or using undue influence on the uh, prosecution to do such a despicable act to try to blame to fitnah Lim Guan Eng and cover up Najib and uh, why uh, it is so evident that the WhatsApp transcript the exchanges were available to the prosecution but they refused to give it to the defense they wanted to subvert the truth and therefore they were not about looking for the truth it was more about nailing God in this is a very dangerous prosecution this is even more important to us we cannot have this kind of prosecution and the AG has to answer to this the Madani government got to answer to this what are they going to do about this because what is proper is for a, 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 a transparent investigation to be launched to find out why the prosecution acted in this manner because with this it totally wanes and uh, you know erodes public confidence on our prosecution and even the government this is serious because if this can happen means the prosecutor can do this to anyone they can cover up somebody they can uh, fitnah somebody and uh, whatever information they have even they know the truth they still want uh, to further a particular political agenda so political agenda whose political agenda this is key because it is deep rooted our corruption is deep rooted in this country pm should order a, an investigation as soon as this case is concluded if Guan Ying is acquitted, there should be a, uh, uh, you know, even an inquiry on this prosecution and heads must roll. Heads must roll and it may even require prosecuting people within the prosecution. They too may need to be prosecuted and also sent to jail for treason. This is treason. This is pengkhianatan to the rakyat. Pengkhianatan pada uh, Guan Ying if this is true okay again all depends on the outcome of the case what i'm saying will depend on the outcome of the case if Guan Ying is acquitted Najib is deemed to be the big boss Najib needs to be prosecuted Zarul needs to be prosecuted everybody that is involved in this transaction this 2 million transaction needs to be prosecuted the prosecution the relevant people need to be prosecuted uh, because this cannot be tolerated no form of reform by this kerajaan madani will make sense will appease if we have this kind of prosecution we have been so focused about independence of the judiciary uh, you know a clean judiciary we are so focused about that but that means nothing if we have a corrupt uh, you know uh, capricious prosecution uh, if ag cannot clarify that AG's head must roll. If AG knows what is wrong, what went wrong, AG should be the witness and AG must take action and AG must ensure prosecution of people who are corrupt within his outfit. So which is it now? Is AG corrupt or the people within the AG office corrupt or are they both corrupt? In any case, if Anwar declares war, fighting corruption habis-habisan begins with this because whatever corruption that you want to go after when you identify you have to prosecute using the same outfit using the same ag using the same ag office now if this is defective then what are you trying to do it puts to question on every prosecution that you have done on muhyiddin on Najib, on Zahid, on Guan Eng, on Syed Sadiq, these are all become becomes questionable. This is the this is the most key thing this government must do, and I do not know whether people realize this or not on how serious this is, because we use the law, we use the court, 
we need the prosecution to prosecute people. If that is defective, if that is corrupt, then the entire system fails and we don't have the right kind of governance, Malaysia is doomed.